So one thing and one thing only. I see the A7FL brand of football. To, it is to the NFL what the UFC was to boxing 20 years ago. It is so different and so unpolished, but yet so much talent on the field that guys who aren't necessarily the NFL pedigree that, you know, show up to meetings on time every day. These guys are hardworking men who show up to play football for the love of the game. Bringing that together, just raw energy, raw talent, it gives you a different level of excitement and a different brand to watch where every other brand of football is trying to emulate what the NFL has. We are a complete dark departure from it. And that's what I love. And one more question before we head to break. If you're, if someone out there, like let's say in Atlanta, Dallas, Austin, New Orleans, if, Ty if Tyron Matthews out there, what would you tell them about buying a division in the A7FL? What would you want them to know? And what can you say to them about what to expect? It looks like the sky is the limit for the A7FL. So as an owner, I would say be ready for the most amount of fun you've ever had <laughs> working with young men because this league is not polished guys. You've got guys that are on the fringe, that are super athletic, have all the talent in the world, but aren't in the mainstream media. They're, they're guys that are, you know, coming out of the hood. Some guys got good jobs. Some guys are working security, but they, they have all the talent in the world and they just need to be wrangled. So it's like herding cats, but <laughs> it's a ton of fun. The, the time I spent with those guys yesterday, my wife and I both, we just sat back and went, man, we're really making a difference in Las Vegas, giving young men an opportunity to, to showcase their talents and be a part of something, building something from the ground floor. We're putting Vegas football on the map, but for owners who are looking to do the same in the other main territories where we want to see football, like you mentioned New Orleans, we, you mentioned Georgia, you mentioned Texas, all the real talent comes out of the Southeast and the South. And the fact that we don't have those, those teams down there, all someone has to do is press a button, have a little bit of money, and we are rolling and having a great time because there's so much talent down there. It's amazing. And folks, if you want to be a part of the future of football, if you want to be as hyped as Derek is right now, go to a7fl.com slash owners. That's a7fl.com slash owners. And if you are out there right now wondering, why isn't the a7fl in my hometown? You can solve that problem. We want you to be a part of the future of football with Derek, with all of us here across the A7FL map. And if you need a little bit of a reminder why, on the other side of this break, we'll break down the highlights and we'll get ready for the second half. The U with the lead. The Patterson U in the lead. Well, we'll figure out if they're going to make it to the final four. That's Corey Hammond. That's Derek Duncan. I'm Matt Ryan. We'll be back. It's 39-6. to You leading the hit squad.